My name is Ali Jalo, a native of Kiringata village, Central Baribu district, North Bank region. I'm the sole proprietor of Jalos Enterprise. Jalos Enterprise was established in 2018. And then the reason why I ventured into the business, that's animal husbandry, is because I used to see how people struggle in order to access healthy and highly nutritious rams for their families during Tabaski. So going through that, I deem it necessary to start a business. Then I used to buy a few animals, rear them and yeah. sell them during the Tabaski. Our long-term plan, that's what is I'm yearning to achieve in the next three, four years is to expand my business. I used to expand this place and then buy more animals, especially hybrids. That is the Ladum, the Aswad and others. Because these animals can make more money than the local breeds that we are having. So my target is in the next few years, I want to be the leading supplier of rams in the region and the Gambia at large. Yes, yeah, that's our that's my plan. Okay. As I said, if the business business expand, my target is to employ more people, especially the youths. Currently, I have two people who are working with me at the farm here. Yes, but then as time goes on, if the business expands, my target is to employ more people, especially youths who will be working with me at the farm, in order to tackle, you know, or to reduce unemployment rate, and then to reduce the idea of illegal migration. Because I've realized that in, the, in my community here, NBR, or Central Badiou, when it comes to this illegal migration, it really affects the community. Many of our youths are living here, not because of, you know, they don't want to work here or something else, but then because they don't see, they don't have the hope in them. But then if they realize that, you know, there is a source of employment for them, I believe they won't live here and then go for to the Bagway in order to look for greener pasture. Before having the agro grant, anyway, I was just rearing in a very small scale because I was having very few animals. And sometimes I have challenges of feeds, you know, proper medications, and so on. Okay, so, but since I acquired the grant, I was able to expand my business, thus buy more animals. I was able to get better feeds and then medications for the animals. So definitely the agro grant have gone a long way in expanding my business and then ensuring that the business is sustainable. Okay, before I conclude, I would like to thank the European Union through the Tekifi project being implemented by IMVF because Without them, it would have been very difficult in order to expand my business and then to fight against you know, unemployment. But I believe with this grant, I will be able to employ more youths into the business. So that's a good plus from them. I used to say thank you, IMVF, uh, European Union, and so on.